Hi, and welcome to Empire State Television. I'm Lydia Moynihan. And I'm Michael Sheets. Happy anniversary to us. This Monday, we are celebrating the birth of the King's College in New York City. Our school was originally founded in 1938 in New Jersey. In 1999, it reopened its doors in New York with just 67 students and 10 faculty members. Today, we've grown to a student body of more than 500. This week's council meeting gave new life to rugby at King's. William Bortons presented reasons why he believes the men's rugby sevens team should become a student organization, with the underlying goal of having Kings compete in three tournaments next spring. The vote passed with a unanimous support among the House presidents. Look for more information about this and future meetings on the EST website as you keep up with the King's Council. Cramming for con law or corporate finance already? Well, this week, make sure to set aside time to read for the interregnum test as well. First years, you are exempt from the exam. Everyone else, get cracking on the autobiography of Frederick Douglass. Tests will be held all next week. Reporter Emily took a trip up to the garment district last week and went behind the scenes at FTL Moda's U.S. headquarters. She got exclusive interviews with both graduated and current students in the showroom working with the company for last week's fashion shows. Let's take a look. There's always something exciting going on at the King's College, and this week is no exception. It's Fashion Week, and we have an inside look on an inspiring network of producers. A production company called FTL Moda from Italy is a huge part of Fashion Week, and students at the King's College are fortunate enough to be a part of it every year. Here with us today, we have two guests working for FTL Moda, one being a King's College alum and the other being a current student. Let's take a look. Don't do this. I'm here with Matthew Brunicardi, a 2016 King's College graduate. Matt, thank you for joining us. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Of course. Can you tell us a little bit about FTL Moda and what parts them from other production companies? FTL Moda is a fashion production agency, um, company, as well as um, a modeling agency and showroom. Awesome. Can you tell us your role within the company? I have three titles. I'm a production assistant or assistant producer. I'm a showroom coordinator and sales director. I manage the space that we're here at today and we represent about 10 brands in marketing, PR, and sales. As a production assistant, when we do fashion shows or editorials, I'm the guy who coordinates with each designer or uh, the front of house relations, celebrities, etc. So what would you say are the biggest obstacles during these shows then? I would say dealing with chaos, people who are difficult, they can be mean, um, rude, people who make you doubt yourself and what you're doing or your professionalism. Wow, so within all of this chaos, uh, what would be your favorite part of this entire production? To watch all the hard work, tears, sweat, especially the blood that is shed, and after everything's done, to see what the world can take away from it, because that's what is influencing and making culture. Is there anyone else in FTL Moda who is also from Kings? But our permanent ones are going to be Esther Lee and Julia Briggs. They've been a huge help. Um, my name is Esther. I'm a current student at the King's College, and I've been working with FTL Moda for six months. We know that a lot of these casting calls and such happen at King's. Could you explain yeah. that process a little bit for us? Sure. I mean, we're really lucky to have a great connection with King's, especially with Dr. Bleetler. So uh, even yesterday, we had an open casting at our show uh, with huge modeling agency com coming by, Wilhelmina, um, Hello Models, and etc. Awesome. And what are some things that FTL Moda is excited about incorporating with for these two shows? We're really lucky to have an amazing woman called Reshma join us for our New York Fashion Week. She is a 19-year-old girl who uh, got an acid attack. We are having her walk our runways, which we're really, really excited for. Um, we just want to promote um, diversity in the fashion industry. Instead of just following kind of the dull uh, shows that continue on, uh, we're just trying to make a difference. This past week, most students and faculty took a break from the city and went upstate for a weekend of house competitions and spiritual growth. Reporter Rabina got exciting interviews with both the faculty and the student body. But first, an amazing recap of the trip.
began, members of the Kinks community left the hustle of the city for a weekend in the woods. In between scavenger hunts and drama competition practice, we asked students and staff questions about fall retreat and got some pretty great answers. Take a look at some of the memorable moments for Moose Retreat 2016. Enjoy. Hi guys, how's it going? <laughs> So much, right, you? Don't talk, I can't concentrate. <laughs> Yo, can we do this? Zumba with Michael Martinez. <clears throat> Dancing with Stevie, like crumping in there. I just like to crump. At this point, probably Dina. Sports? With seeing Emily Bingham get hit in the face uh, in dodgeball. Emily Bingham was like a cracked egg on asphalt at the end of that. Probably a hawk. When you go around, everybody's like, oh, hey, look. Definitely be a squirrel. That's how you say it, right? Squirrel. Bat. A chickmunk. Because chickmunk chip and chickmunk chunk. I'd be a really fierce skunk. Uh, I'd want a bed, a knife, and um, food. A mace, DJ controller, and the holy scriptures. Um. And that's easy. Chocolate, chocolate, AC. Oh, can I say a flask? Steph, Steph, and my pinata. <laughs> I would take Professor Corbin. What? Um, okay. <clears throat> Definitely Dr. Blander, because then we could talk about the nature of things. Oh my. Get it. Um, ask me something about the economy. That's easy. I would take Brian Brenberg because when he dies slowly, I can, he's got the most meat. If that's the criteria, I'm taking him. He'd make for two nice meals. <laughs> wow. While upstate, reporter Isabel worked to bring exclusive coverage of Drama Comp, as well as interviews with the members of the winning house. Let's check out the incredible moment of victory by the House of Truth. The winner of Drama Comp 2016, the house. Of Sojourner Truth! Hi, Isabel here giving you an exclusive on the 2016 annual fall retreat King's College Drama Competition. Here at Iroquois Springs, each house created and performed a play that incorporated this year's interregnum theme, Equality. I got to talk with two members from the House of Truth who won this year's competition. I'm here with Dorea Slagle and Julia Rose Childs, part of the House of Truth and winners of the Drama Comp competition this year. Thank you guys for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about how the show went, how to go? I think the girls the best thing was that they just like really enjoyed it. It was kooky, it was weird. Kind of walked the line between like humor and, and also like taking the content seriously. Um, cool. Yeah. I think that went well. Yeah. We had a, it was very important to us to take a quality because it is a serious topic, mm -hmm. um, but we knew that we wanted to have fun with it. So we found that the game show setting really allowed us to balance the two of those. Very cool. Awesome. Is there any performances that you saw last night that you thought might be some serious competition? Oh, yeah. Yeah? SCA's Imago Deo, like, literally gave yeah. me chills. Like, all of us looked down That's the line funny. and we were like, oh, my. Yeah. Oh. I liked the dystopian concept Bonhoeffer brought. Yes. yes. And I thought Lewis is like, that guy almost broke my heart. I don't oh, my word. Me, but Patterson? It was Patterson. Yes. yes. Like, my heart was breaking. Yeah. I was like, no, please, no. Yeah. <laughs> cool. He was really good. Awesome. Is there any pieces of advice, keys to success that you can share with the student body on how to put together a drama comp? Yeah, for us, it was kind of messy in the beginning, but then we kind of pulled it through once we got a clear vision. And I think that's the most mm -hmm. important thing is to have a clear vision and have it something that the entire house cares about. Mm -hmm. um, and then the entire house actually came together to create this. It yeah. was yeah. so beautiful to see. The house of truth is what? <laughs> We're excited to feature our first GoPro video, courtesy of senior Grace Crowley. To have yours featured, submit to ivan.olivo at tkc.edu. Thank you so much for watching ASTV. See you next Friday.